I'm from the California climate. I'm a, I'm a real Yankee who loves the, the change of seasons, particularly the winter. Mm -hmm. They're scary. What, what was that noise? Th those bells you hear are sleigh bells. Uh -huh. I've always had them on my front door for two very good reasons. One, that I like the noise itself, and the other is that no one can sneak in that way. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gary. Like a cup of coffee? Sure, I'd love something. Uh, Gary, uh, Betty and I were talking about Maine. Would you care to uh, add a short commercial on the pine tree state? Well, a short commercial is that Maine is kind of an uncurable disease. Once you get it, you just can't lose it. There's no cure for it. If you like rocks and pine trees and the ocean, Maine is the place. Betty, that's a very unusual table, isn't it? Yes, it is very unusual, and it's very useful. And more than that, it's, uh, it's lots of fun. You can see if somebody starts getting something off one side <laughs> and somebody starts on the other, what can happen? It's called a lazy Susan, isn't it? That's right. Gary, uh, what's life like up there? Uh, what do you do the year round? Well... That question's been asked a lot, Ed. And uh, since I've been here, I've found that you're busier here than anywhere else. Uh, we start with this season, fall, and uh, we go to football games on Saturdays. Jerry, I can almost feel that Maine weather down here in New York. Do uh, you have a fire going tonight? <laughs> yes, we do, Ed. It's in the living room. You want to go in and get warm? <laughs> right. Thank you. All right. Uh, Gary, you work almost as much in television as you do in pictures. Uh, do you have any preference? Well, when I'm doing live television, I, I wish I were in California making a picture, and when I'm in California making a picture, it gets slow, and I wish I were doing live television. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned lobstering a minute ago. Uh, do you do it professionally, or is this still in the realm of sport? No, I'd call it sport. Uh, professionally, if you do it, you have to have two or three hundred traps, and I don't have enough muscles to pull that many traps out of the water. No, we do it as a sport, a friend of mine and I, because we have such a small boat, we have to have two of us, because one has to balance the boat while the other one pulls the trap. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have, I have a trap here that holds up the coffee table. This wasn't one of ours. It washed in. We got a great deal of our firewood from the beach, just driftwood. Yes. And uh, this is a lobster trap that I have here. Betty, that's a hooked rug on the floor, isn't it? Sir, that is a braided rug. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I can't let the women think you don't know that. I don't. Did you make it? No, no, I'm far. I have too little talent and haven't ever had an experience, but it was handmade and it's rather a lovely one. It is indeed. Uh, Gary, how big do those lobsters have to be before you stop throwing them back? Well, uh, you seem to have a little inside information. <laughs> it took me quite a great deal of money to learn that lesson, Ned. Uh, there's a... Uh... Well, when we went out... The first time, we, uh... Dear, you've got... We've got a lobster out in the back. Like, we pulled our traps the last time today, and, uh, we've got a few that we're going to have later on. But the first time we went out, we, uh...